I love this. What is your name? And he said, Yaakov, Jacob, which means what? Deceiver. If it's a divine being, so I keep saying mysterious, but really, if it's a divine being, angelic or otherwise, if it's a divine being, what is your name? It's let's take into account who you are. My name's Jacob. My name is the deceiver. And he said, not Jacob. No longer are you going to be known for outwitting. Not on, no longer are you going to be known for deceit. Not Jacob will your name hence be. But Israel, which means what? Prevailing. Lordliness. And the last one I really love, openness. There's something elevated. You're no longer just outwitting and deceiving. There's something noble about you. There's something generous about you. And then I love it because then what does he say? For you have striven with God and men and won out. There's a lordliness to you. There's an openness about you, which goes back to my reading of Jacob previously. Could we see him as being kind of utilitarian and practical here? Let me bribe my brother so he doesn't kill me. Yes. But what if he's, what if there's a certain uh, openness here? What is, what if there's a lordliness to it? A generosity to, to what he's doing as well. A lordliness would be something along the lines of, I don't have to deceive anymore to overcome people. I don't have to prevail through deception and outwitting. What if I can prevail through an openness? God forbid, an honesty even. And it's the last line. He says, for you have striven with God and men and won out. There's, there's the line for you. I'm going to call you Israel because all of those things, lordliness, prevailing, uh, openness. I'm going to do this because you have striven with men, which is true. He wins out over Esau early on, but how does he do it? He does it through outwitting and deception. He does it with uh, Laban, though. Does he do it through deception? I don't think he does. I think he's deceived. I think there's an openness that he has with Laban. In fact, we saw their dialogue going back and forth. And he's saying, I'm laying out my legal case. And in fact, um, I had a case against you with the flocks that were torn apart by wild beasts. And I didn't even go and claim those. There was, it, there's an openness to him. And it turns out he won out. 